SP and all the old Boer societies must end their successors according to the law of the wealthy old Boer society. <laughs> Oh, well, that Archbishop. <laughs> Crowning and cross many lands, millions were watching and hearing the bands. The music rang out and marching took place onto the Abbey, a beautiful place. The Abbey, so old and full of the past, its glory in history surely to last. Edward's wood throne, complete with its scone, sat in its place, anchored from scone. Chuck and Camille in a buggy will ride, air conditioned of course, so they can sit side by side. And Chuck will soon bear the crown of the king, and his fingers display the royal sovereign ring. Some Commonwealth members on this king they do chill. An inherited monarch? Is that good for us still? For many who ask, the answer is no. It's far too old fashioned and soon has to go. What will come in its place must give people a choice. A monarch who's chosen through the people's own voice. Democracy now will take a new place and monarchs to come will face a tough race. The length of the term for this monarch not known, what's appropriate time to sit on the throne? A lifetime? A year, a week, a day, and of course, then there's the question of pay. TV of old may help to decide, and queen for a day may hold a great sway. On the matter of money, it's sufficient to say, this new monarch will work for no pay. <laughs> <laughs> so is the future all set? Is that a good bet? An election to be. We'll just wait and see. A ballot so secret must be used in this test to assure that the chosen is none but the best. So is the future? So the future is here. Let's give a great cheer. Soon the people's new monarch will come into sight. Election joy to you all. And to all a good night. <laughs> <laughs>